In match seven yesterday, he ran into Mo Light. It was a quick 2 0. You know, like you said, almost took a game off of him. We'll yeah. see if he can turn that around today as Mohamed Light goes back to Ice Spirit plus guards. We've seen him play that a good amount today. And uh, again, happy to see it. Happy to see guards back. Happy to see cards that were effective, so affected so negatively by arrows and cards that were so easily replaced by goblins and archers kind of come back into the mix a little bit. Absolutely. Muhammad Light going back to his brother and brother. We all know how good he is at that hog. Earthquake Clown with what looks to be maybe Balloon after seeing the Hunter and the Snowball and the Miner. But look at that. Muhammad Light, his coach behind him, in Inferno Tower instead of the Bomb Tower here. And the Inferno is just going to shred, right? I know, man. I know. I mean, literally took the words out of my mouth. And uh, it's the first time we've seen him run Inferno Tower this month. And uh, you you know why, you know why. He's got a great coach and he goes, all right, let's just go back to Hoggy Q because you can beat anyone with it. But instead of cannon, let's go bomb. No, no, instead of let's, let's just go Inferno because we're playing against Clown. Yeah, actually just so fascinating, just predicting the Ryan Scully Loon. Not only is it gonna be great secondary air defense versus the Loon guys, but the giant skeleton, it's absolutely shredded by that Inferno Tower as well. Arch Queen in the back here from Mo, Hunter from Clown. Clown needs to maybe get a minor prediction on the Inferno Tower in order to break through later in this match. I know, Juice. I was just like, between the Ice Spirit, the Inferno, and the fact that you have an Archer Queen that has no way to get spelled off the board, it's just a really, really tough matchup for Boom Clown. Yep, no big spell to take it out, and also the no reset with the Zap Snowball. A great small spell to knock things yeah. around, but no reset. There's that prediction hey. minor on the Inferno, like I said. I don't know if that's going to be enough to break through. Yeah, I mean, it, it was kind of... It, it, it's the second time now where you've said exactly what Boom Clown needs to do, and he does it. The problem is he's going up against Mo. So you saw there, Mo set the line really high with the guards, knowing that Boom Clown was most likely going to go in with the balloon push. Keeps that giant skeleton at bay so that the tower the and the Inferno yeah. can focus on the balloon. Yeah. And then is ready to go to catch that miner. Mm. So, it, you know, again, you think about a way to get through Muhammad mm. Light, and you got to think about three more ways, because maybe one of them will work. Not to mention the ice spear just so overpowered, freezing for one and a half seconds, allowing that front yeah. tower to shred everything. And the hog riders from Mo, every single time he plays one, it seems like he gets a hit. Yep, and the defense just immaculate. He does the great decision making there. He goes, all right, what do I need to do? Let's actually ignore the miner. Let's get the Inferno down. Let's Ice Spirit on top of the balloon. Then we'll deal with the miner at the very end. Mm -hmm. It's all about recognizing priorities. What's the most important to take off? What does the most damage? All that stuff. He's making split second decisions. Speaking of priorities, do you see the, at the end there where he used the Archer Queen ability way late in order to tank for the Hog Rider just yeah. enough to get that Hog hit? Yeah, he's done that a couple times, the AQ to tank for the hog, then the late ability. Uh, the sequencing is just excellent, but Boom Clown takes a great, great hit there. Muhammad Light's <laughs> defense is kind of starting to get picked through. So now we'll see if he starts to change it up at all. The arrow is doing a good job on those guards. Yeah, that's what he has to keep doing, right? He has to get the prediction mine in the Inferno. He has to get the arrows in the guards. No, somehow cycling back to another yeah. Inferno here. The it's other nice. thing to look out for well, is those well, ice really spirits. The only reason he was able to get that other balloon hit was somehow the ice spear was able to go down to the hunter and not jump on the balloon hit. Yeah, that was a really, uh, the, the fact that the hunter was able to hit that, plus the guards getting arrowed off the board was kind of all things going right. The perfect storm, if you will, for Boom Clown as Muhammad Light doesn't get a hog hit this time, but does get the EQ damage. And a very, very close matchup here. Going right back with another hog with the AQ staying on the board. Quick three card cycle. Hawk gets a hit. That's massive juice. Clown needs the snowball defense for these hog riders. The hog riders getting hit every single time. Here comes the counter push, but the earthquake is down. And here is the log. And the ice spirit jumped to the miner. Oh my goodness. Sheesh. <laughs> oh, very close you game. Love to see it. You really do. I mean, yeah, I said it already, but the only way that Clown was able to win that game is he needed to save the snowball more often for the hog riders. Hog riders actually. Uh, or Snowball's one of the best counters to hog. If you pair the Snowball with anything, you can almost fully counter hog every time. Yeah, I mean, that was that was one of those things where, you know, Moe's coach gave him an excellent advantage. Boom Clown did a really, really good job of almost playing all the way through it. And then, uh, you know, Moe, that double-cycled Inferno Tower, 
you know, uh, about three quarters of the way through the game was a yeah. really, really important moment. Yeah, not only stop the balloon hits, but also the death damage as well. So Mo also a big fan of this deck, usually just runs Zap and usually does a very good job of just overwhelming with exactly what you're seeing right now is yeah. MK plus Prince and then just pour it on with the Bandit and the Wall Breakers. Let's go. Ability just barely come out in time to tank and kill the Archers here. Wall Breakers are going to connect. Prince going to hit here as well. And you can see there already uh, Clown just... It, it, it's just so deflating, right? He just battled it out for Mo with Mo for so long in a tough matchup, ends up losing the game, and now you're down a game in a best of three, yeah. and Muhammad Light starts early with already 1,300-ish damage on your tower. And it's wild to put a huge push like that together in single elixir, but th with this deck, it works, because the Mega Knight Prince combo, it's just so threatening like it's not a push where you can just let it go and maybe try and counterattack because you are gonna get three crowned oh my gosh that sequence was the worst thing i've ever seen for mm. one player the this. mk comes down late it distracts the mother Super witch then jumps this. across the bridge to kill the Super mother witch Japonics. then jumps away from the fisherman on the egg so the fisherman doesn't pull <laughs> then mo's miner distracts the fish boy and now we're left with 687 hp that was the worst sequence yeah. i've ever seen for one player not to mention the monk pushing okay. the mega knight away at the per <laughs> yeah. perfect time, so the E Spirit did not hit the Phoenix, and the Phoenix got value no, to the Fisherman. Oh, we gotta watch that again on replay, wow, just please. Uh, um, Boom Clown needs a divine intervention at this point. As Rich would say, he needs Muhammad Light's phone to break. Uh, 687, 3052, working down the left hand lane. Technically, damage on the right hand side for Boom Clown, but um, not a lot. Miner here taking out the Mother Witch. Fisherman pulling in the Mega Knight. Another, witch, another Mother Witch on the board here, trying to spawn some piggies. Arrow's cleaning everything up, though. And now the Prince Archer's pretty healthy. Prince going to take the Mother Witch out. This Catbird's looking grueling. Clown does not have the Barbarian Barrel in cycle. And these Wall Barriers are going to connect. I mean, okay. Mo just basically dropped everything at the bridge. And then Clown would spend an arm and a leg okay, to defend. And then after all about. of it, Mo would then send in Wall Breakers time sweet. and time yeah. again. Cloud. There was just never that's enough that. in the tank, that's no like, way to defend. And and that's, that's just one of those things I'm that kind of puts into perspective how under impressive and also why we got the reaction out of Pandora that we did, uh, right? Moon Cloud has been dominant throughout this entire competition. And he just got put on blast by Muhammad Light. Yeah, we've seen him do so many good things, but going against the world champ, that's a whole nother level of caliber. It's really tough to pick Boom Clown in a matchup <laughs> don't like cry, that. Don't cry, clown. Now we're heading you, into the final bracket. Score. We got Muhammad Lights <laughs> coming up. Gonna face against Pandora. He has to beat him twice, what? though, in order to...